But makeup can be an elusive art, usually at its best when you don't notice it's there at all. Special makeup this, effects uh, artist Matthew Mungle is used to transforming the famous. He's got hundreds of high wattage clients peering down on him from the walls of his WM creations in Hollywood. This is a face cast of Forrest Whitaker. Oh, yeah. Before. That cast is from his work on Lee Daniels' The Butler. Mungle's task was to age nearly the entire cast, everyone from Forrest Whitaker. You've served your country well. Thank you, Mr. President. The way you do the to Oprah Winfrey. She do look a little bit like me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a lot about under the eyes and, and right in here. What do you think, boys? <laughs> he was nominated for an Oscar for turning James Woods into the aging white supremacist Byron De La Beckwith. What if I did? In Ghosts of Mississippi. It's not like there's anything you nor anybody else can do about it. Yes, sir. <laughs> and yes. for turning Glenn Close passing by into a man in Albert Knobs. Need a hand there, Mr. Knobs? No. The way he sees it, being a special makeup effects artist is like being a painter, except on an often star-studded and movable canvas. I love this art. I love creating things. I love uh, just everything about it. It's creating a character by any means possible. A couple of people, actually, to be truthful. Um, I met several ladies from Atlanta, Georgia, when I first came to America and studied drama in New York City. And they were students at the same drama school that I was. And they came with these incredible accents. So I picked it up very early and uh, used it on a number of occasions in a number of roles. Mm. Carolyn Goodman, a mayor of the great city of Las Vegas, entertainment capital of the world. Thank you for joining us here this year. Well, we have two months, and we're hopeful of breaking and having the best year we've ever had, over 40 million coming to visit. It is a wonderful capital, and we are one of our best markets, of course, is right here in the United Kingdom. Uh, they are our first international tourist market, so we just hope everybody will come and enjoy the changes and the growth that we've had. You're one of the few English actors who can do a convincing American accent. It's oh. not easy. It's not easy. Oh, I don't agree with you, Christopher. Ah, okay. I don't agree. I think the British are really absolutely top-notch at doing accents, and they can do marvelously good American really? accents. No, yeah. I, I find them a bit phony sometimes. Do but, you? But yours well, is so distinctive that people think you're American. Uh, yes. Well... I hate to tell you how many years I, li I lived in America. <laughs> well, uh, this year. Well, we have yeah. two months. But yours well, is so distinctive. But well, we know we're constantly reinventing ourselves. We're a creative, innovative place to be. We're a place where you can go after your troubles have been seemingly overbearing and you want to just put it out of your mind have a good time and supposedly what happens here stays here and so we know that there were some of our royals perhaps have had uh, thinking that as well but um, it's just it's been very exciting for us we're always having new ideas new concepts we have a brand new mob museum which is the national organized crime and law enforcement museum and you're one of the few English actors who can do a convincing American accent. 
It's oh. not easy. It's not easy. Oh, I don't agree with you, Christopher. Ah, okay. I don't agree. I think the British are really absolutely top-notch at doing accents, and they can do marvelously good um, uh, American really? accents. No, yeah. I, I find them a bit phony sometimes. Do but, you? But yours well, is so distinctive that people think you're American. Uh, yes. Well... I hate to tell you how many years I, l I lived in America. Do not arouse the wrath of the great and powerful Oz. I said come back tomorrow. If you are really great and powerful, you keep your promises. Do you presume to criticize the great Oz? You ungrateful creatures think yourselves lucky that I'm giving you audience tomorrow instead of 20 years from now. Oh. The great Oz has spoken. Oh. Pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. The great Oz has spoken. Who are you? Oh, I, I, I am the great and powerful Wizard of Oz.